Houston here for another What's Up Wednesday. And today I'm really excited to show you how to customize your new line dashboards, your home screen, whatever we want to call it. I want to show you some ways that you can make what you're looking at with my panel. You can see better just on your on your screen than rather trying to figure out what's behind me. Uh, I want to show you how to make this to where it's custom to what you want it to be. So I'm jumping right into it. You can see that we have our six pack here where it says OPS browser whiteboard file viewer. It's got those. Those are preset. And when I tap those, it ultimately is a shortcut. So whenever I hit browser, that's exactly what it's doing. It's going to bring me to my browser. So I'm going to go back home and I want to just show you how we can customize those. If I didn't have an OPS plugged in here, I can do a long press on here and change the source. So if I know I don't have an extra OPS on the back, which would be on the back top, it would, or it's a little slot that's near the top back slot. Um, I could make this be my computer. So if I had a computer plugged into the front type C plug, then I could make that be the source rather than the OPS. Similarly, I can take whatever the title is, like OPS, browser, I can customize that. So if I do a long hold and then tap in where it says browser and just start typing, maybe I want this to say Chrome because that's where it's bringing me. When I hit Chrome and OK, you can see that it just renamed it. So you can really customize that where it like clicks in your brain, you know what the buttons are. Um, another thing that is really great to be able to customize our home screen or dashboard is the, or the shortcuts. So I already have four little shortcuts here. I have Teams Drive, Meet, which I'm on here, and Canva, but I can add up to five. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. It says add, so I'm gonna hit plus, and it brings up a very similar, the same, uh, screen that came up when I was trying to change the six pack. But I'm going to go ahead and just jump over to apps because that's what I would probably want as a shortcut. Doesn't have to be, but that's how I know I would, that's where I would want to go. Um, let's say I also wanted to have a shortcut to docs. Notice whenever I hit the check mark, it loaded it on the screen. So now I have shortcuts to all those. And just like I added those on there, I can hold my finger on it and go to it just the same. And if I ever want to edit it, I would hit edit, go into the apps and just uncheck whatever I might not want in there any longer. Super easy. All right. So that's just your buttons and your shortcuts. Now let's look a little bit deeper at things with the background. So right now I have just, you know, the, the neutral new line theme that comes on our uh, panel. If I go up here to the little cog wheel of settings, it takes me into some deeper settings. I'm not really worried too much about all these, but I know as a teacher, I like myself to be pretty. I like it to reflect um, either my school, the season, whatever it might be. I just, I, I think it's pretty. It's a big old screen. I can make it look good. So I'm going to go right into display and theme. If I go into theme, you can see that new line really does a great job of having some really cutie things there. So like this Nintendo looking one is precious it's super cute and can you imagine like our little kiddos would really really like that I say little kiddos I taught middle school I think they get a kick out of this too but let's say I want it to be custom so I'm going to go back into my setting back in the display thing and I know I have access to all of these I also can go into wallpaper and I have some dynamic wallpapers is what they call it and that's fairly new I don't know how long it's been out but it hadn't been super long but it's you can see the um solar system moving the jellyfish is really really cool like I could get lost just looking at that but what I really want to show y'all because you can check those you can add your own the little flower with love, I uploaded that. I just I have a folder in my drive. So on my computer, I searched for some images and that's where I got that. And I, I pulled it straight into my panel. So I'm going to show you all that with another one. Down here, it says you can add up to six. So I'm going to tap there. I'm already in my drive. You can see I'm in my backgrounds. And if I were to go into this one, it puts it right there. So I just want to point out if you grab an image and it doesn't pull over, it just means it's not compatible. So if I had tried two before that one that just weren't compatible. So I found one that worked and I'm sticking with it. Put a check mark. I'm going to go back and I want to show y'all what it looks like. 
So now I have my Mardi Gras background. I'm in Louisiana, by the way, but it's still got those Nintendo buttons and it looks just kind of wonky. So I'm just going to go back into my settings, back into my display and thing, and I'm going to change to where I think that this black, these buttons on this bottom one will look the best on there. So I checked that, but here's the thing you got to do. I change the same buttons. I still have to go make sure that my wallpaper is going to be that. So I'm checking that again. Now, when I go home, it's a little bit cleaner. It's very busy. I mean, Mardi Gras stuff is busy, but you can see I have my source preview and my buttons over here. Just, I can maybe stay in this, this for a couple days, but just a really fun way to bring your own flair to your panel. All right, hope y'all got something out of this and happy Wednesday.